I heard about the project through a friend who I had shot a film with a couple of years ago called Charlotte Sometimes. And he told me that um, Georgia had seen the film, was very moved by the film, and was making her own film. Samantha's very different from me in some ways, and then in other ways she's not. Um, I'm also, I come from a family of three girls, so that's interesting to me, and an immigrant family. Once again, I think if you come from an immigrant family, you feel compelled to not just assimilate and um, adapt, but to succeed and to make your parents' efforts, you know, worth it. Um, actually, to sort of come, to make come to fruition something that they began. And I think that puts a drive in um, children. And I can only say Asian American children because that's my POV. I'm sure that that's true of many different uh, people with many different backgrounds. Samantha sort of took the road that I didn't take, probably the road that my parents wanted me to take, which was to succeed and be beautiful and strong and have power. Um, and I decided to take the route to become an artist, which I think to them meant that I would not have power and that my beauty wouldn't shine and um, that I would be denigrated to a degree, being Asian American, probably playing like, you know, I think my, the word, but words from my mother were like, a servant or, you know, a prostitute, sort of the things that she'd been exposed to on film. And probably she'd see more American portrayals of Asian American people versus, you know, beautiful films, the likes of like, well, Zhang Yimou is too late, but, um, Ho Shao Shen. Samantha's path is the road that I didn't take, but in a way, her drive I mean, even if you don't take the road prescribed to you and you go the other way somewhat in response to that, you're still driven. Um, because I think I understand my parents' sense of fight to be here, to feel safe here, to feel strong here. And um, I just took so much of that on, I think, growing up without even, probably even recognizing that I was taking it on. Georgia and I had a number of conversations before the rehearsal process that, um, Helped, I think helped us both. That was another thing that interested me in the process is that Georgia is very collaborative and I sensed that from the very beginning and um, even collaborated on text, script, so that was great. Um, I was really moved to shoot in Georgia's house, to be around her family, her mother and her father and her sisters. Um, I loved watching the actual footage from her real life. I think that film and real life, um, they're so related and I, and I was excited to see someone sort of acknowledging that, like right in the middle of her own home. I think that that's, I don't know, it's exciting and it's, it's, a, it's a great resource for me as an actor. I was very moved, I was very moved to be there a number of times. One thing that I loved about Samantha, and one thing I loved about the whole journey of the film, was that, um, and especially for Ed, this sense of like stopping, stopping all this forward motion that can sort of possess us, um, stopping and just being. I'm a Buddhist and uh, it's very much in line with the, f the short film that I just made and also um, with what I think is important for people to enjoy their lives is to just kind of stop the doing. And maybe that's only earned, and maybe that's a luxury to our parents to stop. Um, and maybe they only, they feel like they have to earn that. Nonetheless, I think it's really valuable to just kind of say, yo, I'm checking out, I'm not being productive, I'm going to like see, I'm going to look around me and not sort of see my life on a track that's probably been inherited or somewhat fabricated. Just like, just like be. I think that's important to, because, you know, I don't necessarily think that Asian Americans are a part of the American conversation, not daily in television um, and rarely in film. I mean, there are so many great filmmakers coming up. I mean, one could just list them for days. Um, but to get into the mainstream and to get into, and 
to get into the mainstream and then to sort of rally people who are making films to let us in the door through the mainstream or any other way, I think it sort of has to go through through that channel first, the mainstream channel. And uh, I, I, that appealed to me. Why were there no Asian boyfriends? Um, was that a concern for you, making the film? It wasn't a concern because, and it's especially not a concern now that I've made my first short, because I think we're drawn to people that are like us. I think that almost every character in a story is an aspect of the writer. And um, you just have to trust that sense. Just as much as an Asian American wants to be cast in a role that might be, con might be initially thought of as non-Asian American, I think that we have to open our minds to whoever walks through the door. And I now know that the casting process is so difficult that to find someone close to the sensibility you're seeking, you just have to cast them. Um, and I do know that Georgia found someone initially who was Asian to play one of my to play my ex-boyfriend uh, to play know, what's the ex? regardless anyway <laughs> um, he couldn't do it so I think you find the best person for the part and I think that being an actor I would say the same thing don't cast me just because of my race and don't not cast me just because of my race you know cast me because I have the sensibility you need. I mean, the filmmaking process is so stressful, and there's so much shorthand required, that that connection is so important to have with your actor, regardless of what they look like. I mean, of course, look is a huge consideration, but I wanted to trust what Georgia thought. I mean, it's her first feature, and I didn't have any preconceived notion of who the guy for her should be. And by the way, she doesn't end up with either of them. So what does that say? <laughs> she gonna go back to her roots. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's you know who knows. Hopefully, it's it's enough of an individual journey that it's not about color coding. This goes with this. You know, that's, that's silly. You have that in TV. You don't need that in a film. I think sometimes in order to be included, you just have to imagine that you are. Even though so many people around you are saying, you know, oh, they're Asian, how come they're not doing, how come there's not huge, like, swaths of material flying around them doing kung fu or, you know, um, it's time, you know, it's totally time for this to happen. <laughs>